Hey everybody, it's Jay Bear with another Jay Today brought to you by the good folks at Sprout Social, fantastic social media marketing software that I use for my own social media, and Candidia, who helps me make these videos fantastic. I just shoot them on my iPhone, I upload them to Candidio, and they do the rest. They can help you too. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Not only is that a fantastic line from a terrific movie, but it's also particularly relevant, as recently Google announced that they were going to allow Google Plus users to use aliases and fictitious names. Now, this is a big shift in policy since historically Google has followed Facebook's lead and required people to use their actual names in order to use the Google Plus service. Now, think about this. One of the things that I believe really brought down MySpace when MySpace was the number one social network was that it just got crazy. It got cacophonous. It got nonsensical. It got ridiculous. I mean, at one point, there was like 150 people uh, on MySpace saying that they were Little Debbie the Snack Cakes Queen, right? It just got silly. And that can happen when you don't require actual identity. It's one of the reasons, frankly, that Facebook is less insane than, than Twitter. Because on Twitter, you can make all kinds of fake identities and fake accounts and say all kinds of nonsense. Now, sometimes that results in a lot of really funny and interesting accounts and you know things that, that are pretty tongue-in-cheek and hilarious. But you really don't know who you're talking to on Twitter in some cases uh, the same way that you do in Facebook, where it really requires real identity. This is a big, big shift for Google. They say they're doing it because of the way that G Plus is tied into YouTube and also tied into Gmail, where you know identity isn't exactly um, the same system, especially in YouTube, where people do have sort of personas or, or fictitious characters that they use to create videos. And, and it was becoming really challenging to have a fictitious character that you make YouTube videos, but then have to use your real name for Google Plus and tie those together was getting pretty crazy. So I really hope that Google knows what they're doing here because I like Google+. Plus. I like the fact that it is uh, relatively, I don't say docile, but, it, but there's not a lot of nonsense going on Google+. Plus. And this idea of let's make fake accounts and crazy fake names and fake personalities and then say whatever you want with impunity, with anonymity, because no one knows who you are, that to me is the recipe for potential silliness and nonsensibility. So I, I'm concerned about the direction that Google+. Plus and Google are headed here. It, it's working okay for Twitter, but certainly Twitter can be a little bit of a scary neighborhood as well. And, and I believe that this question of real versus pretend identities, whether your social network requires authentic identities the way Facebook does and the way Google Plus has until recently, or is just allowing you to do whatever you want uh, under whatever personality you choose, like Twitter, like Instagram, etc., is going to be one of the major sort of splitting off points of social networks now and in the future. So we'll see how it goes. Personally, uh, I think it's a dangerous, dangerous game that Google is about to play. Today's Sprout Social shout out is for my friend Martin Shervington. Speaking of Google Plus, Martin runs a company called Plus Your Business uh, that helps businesses really understand how to maximize the effectiveness of Google Plus. Uh, he's helped me a lot with my own Google Plus um, presence and the things that I do uh, on that platform. So if you're not following Martin, either on Twitter or certainly on Google Plus, you absolutely should do that. You will be the better for it. Thanks so much. I'm Jay Bear. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, I'm Jay Bear. I want to introduce you to my brand new show, Jay Today, where I will be talking about social media and business on an almost daily basis. Real quick videos, very easy, snackable, bite size, as they say. You can get it on YouTube. You can get it on iTunes. You can get it on Stitcher. You can get some great ideas right here. Want to subscribe? I think you do. All you got to do is click one of these buttons. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow.